Fernwood Cemetery is the only place in California where you can be buried without a casket. I met up with Esmeralda Kent, a Hollywood costume designer and shroud maker, to get schooled on being green in the afterlife. So how did you get into shroud making? Well, I'd been a costume designer for many years and living an organic lifestyle. And I saw a film about a young funeral director who was so inspirational, so creative, and I really wanted to work for him. And through serendipitous karmic means, mm -hmm. he purchased this cemetery and I was able to uh, work for him. Oh, wonderful. And I am eternally grateful. And are those your shrouds over there? Why, yes, they are. Oh my gosh. Look at how beautiful this one is. This is a brilliant color here. Thank you. This is the color of Buddhist monks' robes. This is our Varanasi cremation shroud. All of our shrouds are made of 100% silk. This is in silk chiffon. These are so fashionable. I would totally wear this while I'm still alive, never mind dead. For someone who wants a really beautiful presentation, this is a biodegradable rattan casket that has one of our Mort Couture shrouds. These shrouds are made of embroidered silk taffeta. They are to go inside of other biodegradable caskets. Mm -hmm. So this is a more upscale shroud. Yes, this is our top of the line, and our more couture line. Our more couture line, yes. The, and now maybe this is more Pret-a-Porter, a little this, ready to wear. This <laughs> is our most basic shroud. This okay. is the pure light shroud. It's 100% European linen. They can be lowered and buried right in the ground here at Fernwood. These panels that looks really intricate. Is this, is this a hard thing to wrap up? Traditionally, a shroud is about 12 yards of fabric that you wrap under the body. Because that was so difficult and it looked horrible when it was finished, <laughs> that like I- Like a mummy, kind of old school mummy? Well, like a canned ham, actually. Oh, okay. <laughs> a wrapped ham, not canned, but wrapped. So I made this that is really simple for the funeral director and the funeral professional, anyone preparing the body at home or, or in a funeral home. Yeah. And so you just place the body. You're welcome to model if you like. Really? <laughs> you want to give it a try? See what it's like to be shrouded? OK. Go for it, girl. I'll hold it steady. There we go. Perfect. Now just lay flat back. Everything's taken off the body, and the body is actually prepared by washing in soap and water and then be rinsed with green burial wash. It's made of rose water and rosemary. It's very traditional. Can I use this as a body wash now while I'm alive? You can do anything you want when you're alive, Connie. That's the beauty of living. And so first we're going to cover your feet. Then we'll come to the top here, and we will wrap your uh, face. It's getting a little harder to breathe now. Well, normally people don't have that problem that are in your position. And so typically, like, it literally goes this quick. Yes. We would normally still be trying to lift the body up and get okay. under it. But these ties keep it very secure. And you just lower the whole thing down without any casket. It can go right in the grave, and the whole thing biodegrades. There you go. You're completely oh. prepared and ready to go inside of a casket in this shroud. Thank you, Esmeralda. I really appreciate it. It was you're, very nice to meet welcome, you. You're <laughs> welcome, Connie, and I hope that, to see you in heaven. <laughs> <laughs> yes, me too. <laughs>